hi guys welcome to my channel i am kiki so guys this is how my bathroom looks like um or rather this is how it looks like from the last time you saw me updating it and i updated from blue and white and gold to this uh boho i like to call it boho chic <laughs> yeah so this is where you left off so i do want to say this the shower curtain has been changed since then the mats have been changed since then but i just wanted to give you a recap of how it looked like the last time you saw me redecorate this um bathroom and this is how uh it looked like the last time you guys saw me decorating it and uh, i recently upgraded my shower and i liked the black and white vibe so we're going to change this into a black and white theme and at the end of this video i'm going to attach some end screens for videos of when i decorated this this uh, bathroom to the way it looks right now and also when i upgraded my shower head so i will leave those two videos up so that you guys can um check them out all you need to do is just click onto them i'll also leave them in the description box so you're going to get to see them so we're going to start with removing this shower curtain and guys that shower rod hey it was just trying to kill my vibe it was just trying to kill my vibe it was there's no way i was going to hug my shower curtain up there without you not seeing that is it silver uh, road right there it was just gonna kill my vibe so i decided i was gonna do something about it so as you can see it is screwed in and i was not trying to unscrew anything or just go through the whole hassle so i went and got this rod from walmart it's black so it's perfect and all i needed to do is just place it at the right position just a little bit lower uh, than the one that's already there in a way that when I hanged my shower curtain you will not be able to see the rod so right now you can see a little bit of it on the right side but I adjusted that and uh, later on you're going to see that you're not even going to see it like this was perfect <laughs> like this was perfect and when I'm done or when I want to move or change um, when I want to change the theme up in here all I have to do is just loosen it up and I'm good so I just make sure you it's secure before you start using it and I also got these um, hooks they were black I showed you guys in my other video and this shower curtain I love it I have one similar like this one but this one is from DKNY in case anybody is wondering and the quality is absolutely fantastic I love it I also have a similar one from Walmart uh, the pattern is almost the same but not quite but I can definitely tell you this that this one the DKNY one the quality is fantastic I love it and when I hung it up you know it was just oh it was perfect for me so the um, the hooks they're also in the video where I upgraded that shower that I said that uh, the shower head when I when I told you guys that I was gonna leave the end screens so the link to those um, hooks is going to be on that video in case you are interested in getting the same so yeah the video is quite self-explanatory i'm going to be coming in and out to explain if i need to explain something yeah so if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification button as well so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video for my returning subscribers asante sana thank you so much you guys are my darlings for those of you who take your time to like my videos comment on my videos i appreciate you and i love you so much thank you guys you guys are awesome thank you for the support thank you thank you thank you So guys, I also got this in shower Bluetooth speaker. It is waterproof and it is awesome. And um, I love to listen to my audiobooks and um, it's, it's, it's tricky when you're trying to listen to your audiobooks <laughs> in the shower because you're trying to make sure your phone is far away from water. 
so this was perfect it comes with a suction cup that little one i was trying to check if it's secure and hang it there ah i later changed it to from there because i, I didn't trust that uh, suction cup so <laughs> i changed it later but um yes i got the bluetooth bluetooth speaker and i love it i get to listen to my audiobooks when i'm taking a shower it is waterproof i'm and i'm not worried about it catching water and the sound from it is fantastic i will leave the link to that um, bluetooth speaker in the description box i got it from amazon in case you're interested and yeah these are some of the mats that i got and um yeah i'm showing you where they're from in case you're interested you can get them i got this from home goods so there will be no links uh that's why i'm showing you which uh company they came from and um yeah this bathroom was so tight i was not trying to bend over to try and put the mats in so there you go <laughs> uh this one is a little bit big but it's fine i folded it at the end the quality the quality is is, is what i went for and i didn't care whether it was going to fit or not <laughs> so i folded it a little bit and it's fine it's fine i can do it even this one was a little bit bigger but it's fine you know we're gonna move from this house at some point and there were two shades of uh white which is still fine i mean i can still do it and then i have this little section over here and i wanted to change it up a little bit and um i don't like putting a lot of stuff on my sink counter you see i don't have so much of it so that's why i got this little corner and um i just wanted to place my facial wash over there and uh, my face moisturizer so that i can easily reach them and under there i have uh, sanitary towels and i wanted to change the container in which i've put them in because i think i've put them in uh that container is a haggis container <laughs> so yeah this house is a pos is a period positive house and so you know periods are normal they are normal for every woman it's something that happens every month and so no need to hide anything but i got this container from home goods as well and i wrote there with a pen that i got when i was um when i got my containers for spices the white pen and it came in handy in this situation so i just wrote there woman stuff women stuff so you can just see it uh this is also a good addition to my bathroom so that in case i have any lady friends um they don't have to ask me for sanitary towels they're right there they can just pick them and use them discreetly i'm also going to be putting my period cups in there so yeah this was a good addition and uh, i loved how it turned out i got this from home goods i don't know if i'd said that already So guys, we're going to change up the wall art in here. And oops, <laughs> it just fell right off, right off. <laughs> Don't worry guys, it's fine, it's fine. See, it's not broken, it's fine. So I repurposed it in my room because I switched up my room as well. So I took the boho kind of vibe to my room this time so the video is gonna be up in the end screen so you can check that out and see how that turned out and this i got them from um amazon it was a good price for the size and absolutely and they were a good price for the size 
yeah i'm going to leave the links to anything that i bought on amazon on this video i'm going to leave the links in the description box if i do not then the links will definitely be in the other videos uh prior to this which i'm going to leave at the end on the end screens so you can just come back and go to the end screen and tap it and you will go to that video so i used nails on here and i did not switch up the nails because um they are the same size and so i didn't feel the need to change the um, uh, the nails where they were so but i do not recommend anybody using nails especially if it's a rental but the wall art sorry the paint on on this wall is not the best if i was to use command strips when i remove the command strips it will rip the paint right off it's very fragile paint i don't know what kind of paint they used but yeah that's why i chose to use nails and i can uh, fill up the holes whenever i need to move uh, the wall art or whatever so i'm just gonna secure it by using double sided tape if you don't have double sided tape you can use cell tape like the way i'm using like what i'm using right now you just need to fold it to make it double sided tape uh this is not so strong so it's not gonna rip off the paint uh because it's meant for paper so i'm just gonna stick one end on the frame and one end on the wall just to secure it so nobody's gonna be moving this uh wall art but you know if you have visitors and there's traffic in there somebody might touch it by mistake and then they all fall down so that's why i'm securing them at this point i'm really thinking about separating them that way it just makes it easier for me and i don't have to do all this but i think i like it together like this i literally like to put to keep my wall art together in their bathroom uh but you never know maybe at the end of the grand finale this wall art will be separated i don't know <laughs> for right now i like it the way it is so that's what i'm going to do so next we're going to do the sink and then we're going to no you're going to do the towels and then do the sink so i'm just gonna let you enjoy that so guys if you're not subscribed yet until here do hit the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get notified anytime i post any video you don't want to be left behind with all the awesomeness okay <laughs> for my returning subscribers asante nisana thank you so much guys don't forget to give this video a like as well
so guys i have this vase that i previously had purchased from uh, amazon it used to be white can you believe it and i <laughs> spray painted to that beautiful gold color and now i'm spray painting it again to a uh, black color so this spray paint is supposed to be textured spray color so it's gonna look like it has a little bit of texture so i did spray three rounds on this because i think the surface was too smooth so it was just sliding off but after the second coat it started to stick so i wish i'd done one coat but it's fine at the end i got the results that i wanted now i did do this indoors i do not advocate or advise anyone to spray paint indoors it should be outside where it's well ventilated um but i was not feeling well and it was a hot day so i was not able to make it outside but i do have all my windows open my fans are going and i do have a mask on so yeah but uh, you should ideally spray paint when you're outside when it's very well ventilated okay so if you're not subscribed yet hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. So guys on my top shelf i'm just gonna put some magazines in case anybody's in here and wants to read a magazine and in the second shelf i'm gonna put my food soak it's made from himalayan pink salt i love this food soak it's fantastic and then i'm going to be putting this it's supposed to be a soap dish <laughs> it's like a small bathtub so cute i got that from target that's where i'm gonna put my uh, bath bombs that i also got from target they just be over there so i can easily reach them and see them so they're quite huge um i ended up placing the green one on top where the magazines are uh later later because where it was if you open the door it will drop because the other one was big and then just to add a little bit of greenery i got that from ikea a very long time ago and then i'm just gonna finish off by putting my towel so if you use your towel and you need to dry it up that's why it's going and this paper towel holder it was also in my other video i'm going to leave the link to it i got it from amazon i'm going to leave it in the description box so guys remember i got this plant from my previous video and i didn't like that plant so i went to home goods and i got this pot and i love it i love the way it's black you can see inside it the little decor i loved it because it's deeper than the previous pot or the pot that's right there so yeah and now the plant itself comes with a black 
you know part and it on top of it it's black so it doesn't look natural so i went to amazon and i got some green moss and um yeah i thought i should fill up that part to make the tree look a little bit more natural and just that little part is the part that i'm filling it up uh you can also use rocks if you have rocks like clean rocks you just make it look a little bit natural like it will be a natural plant outside so i loved how it turned out the old one i placed it back where i had placed the little tree that i do not like but <laughs> yeah because one of you had also commented and agreed with me that i needed a deeper part and i heard you and went and got one so this one is for you thank you so much i agreed with your opinion as well so the old one is gonna stay there if i don't throw away the tree you will know i don't like that tree <laughs> so guys i'm just gonna let you see the befores and after and uh, if you're not subscribed yet please kindly do hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell as well so that you can get notified anytime i upload a new video for my returning subscribers thank you so much so guys i guess i'll see you on the next one